Welcome to Edgewater House, a home being built to the Passive House standard in Maine. Most homes have walls built on site. We're doing ours differently. They will be built at a factory, then trucked to our site. Come along and watch our walls being built. We're visiting with Gary Plord, manager of the wall panel division of Hancock Lumber in Windham, Maine. Good morning, Gary. Good morning. Tell me a little bit about your operation here. My operation right now is mostly commercial. Um, and if I was to do a percentage, we're probably 25% residential, 75% commercial. At the moment, I've got only three guys working for me. Uh, we have one production line. When I drive around and look at new homes being built, it seems that most of them are still built the old-fashioned way. They're stick-built with a crew cutting and assembling wall panels in place. Mm -hmm. What are the advantages of building them in a factory like you have here versus stick-built on site? Well, there's actually a lot of advantages. Um, of course, the biggest one is time uh, and waste. Um, and since we build them in a controlled environment, we can always build walls during winter storms, uh, rain, everything else. And when the, the, the builder is ready for these walls, we ship them the day they're ready for them and they start standing up walls. Uh, and it could cut the time in half by, by penalizing the project. Um, another advantage is it's, it's one price. Uh, and you know what that price is going to be. You can also keep your crews down. Um, instead of having six, seven, eight guys, uh, you only need two, three, four guys to do something like this, uh, and you're doing the same amount of work. We deliver the walls the day that you need them, uh, so by the end of the day, all your walls are standing. Uh, in a framing atmosphere, you may be framing, and then you're done for the day, come back, and some of your studs are missing, some of your sheathing's missing. How does the cost compare with stick belt or versus, versus factory belt? Up front, you pay more money in the long run. It's either the same or a little less. It's the same as using trusses uh, versus rafters. Uh, and that's one of the selling points that I use is where if we're doing a house and they're trussing the roof, why not penalize it? Well, they're trussing the roof because it saves time. It is a lot more money up front, but it saves time and you can get the house weather tight a lot sooner. How are our wall panels any different than any other wall panels that you would typically build? sheathing, the wall sheathing is uh, adhered to the, to the studs. Um, typically we don't do that in a conventional framed home. Where the sheathing meets a framing member, you are going to apply a, a continuous bead of adhesive Correct. to make sure that we air seal that connection, that wood to wood connection was a very important detail for Passive House. Yes, correct. So and on the screen now is the actual uh, drawings for our home here. Right? Correct. To look at the house in a three-dimensional view, I can do that. While the architect draws the basic wall configuration and selected cross sections, Gary does what the framer would do, prepare the detailed framing plan that maps out the size and location of each piece of lumber in the wall. Gary enters the building dimensions into the IntelliBuild software and can look at wall sections in plan view, elevation, and in 3D as shown here. Colors distinguish the different parts of the wall. The software flags potential problem areas, like the double pocket doors we had that did not fit into the master bedroom wall. The software includes material and labor factors so he can confidently price out the project. And as I enter the walls, I, I can adjust all that. And Before production begins, Gary meets with the builder, architect, framers, and owners to review and approve the shop drawings. So once we get the shop drawings approved, I come back, I make the necessary changes, I'm ready to produce production drawings. And typically the guys in the shop don't even see what the house looks like. All they get is cut list um, and material list and what they start doing is they start cutting and labeling stuff and then pre-assembly. Let's go build some wall panels. It's a very space efficient shop. Production begins with Jesse using the cutlass Gary printed, cutting the stock to length, 
and then marking some layout and identifying information on the cut piece. They preassemble components like the framing around doors and windows and sub-assemblies like these two stud corners. Brian and Mike begin the assembly process by putting the top and bottom plates on the table. Each lumber is crowned before it is used. Complete the layout based on markings that Craig placed on the plates. They nail the studs to the top and bottom plates. Doing so in the opposite direction helps to keep the panel square. They use a tape measure to check the length of each diagonal. If the measurements are the same, the panel is square. Mike adds a continuous bead of adhesive along the entire length of each piece of framing member. The sheathing is carefully aligned and then dropped into place to avoid smearing the adhesive and creating a near gap. They follow the sheathing manufacturer's nailing pattern. A router with a bottom bearing bit trims the excess sheathing for a perfect fit. They use the router to also trim the sheathing at a window opening. You don't want sawdust on the panels as the edges will be taped for an airtight joint. This panel's done. Also, they don't. Temporary spacers prevent damaging the underlying sheathing as the panels are stacked. Gary points out the identifying information on each panel. The panels are stacked and will be delivered in the order the framers asked to use them. Pull this wall off, erect it to one truck, send it to the job site when they're ready, unload them, and start standing walls. So will you be there when the uh, when the truck delivers these panels? I will be there because since this is the builder's first panel job, I will go to the job site, make sure that the truck gets unloaded properly and we have the bundles in the correct uh, spot. And then what I'll do is I'll stay there as the builder starts putting the walls up. As he's putting those walls, if he has any questions, I will answer those questions for him. Great. We're looking forward to seeing you at the, on the job site with the panels in hand. Excellent. Thanks, Gary. Great. Thank you. Come see more at www.edgewaterhouse.com.